Okay, so I guess these add-ons could be the best alternatives add-ons for those awesome paid add-ons for Hearts to Face, which is Box Cutter and Hard Ops. But let's just jump into it. Uh, but there's this one uh, thing that it's actually not an add-on, I guess. It's more like by Blender itself. But it's only available when you have Blender 2.1 and upper than that so if you have blender 2.83 or just anything below 2.91 you need to get blender 2.91 at least and you're gonna get this primitive mode which is it's a perfect example for box cutter so it's making geometry on surface like that pretty quick and if you want to change the shape right hold click this thing and then you're gonna get five options here at current cylinder use sphere i guess sphere and cube but maybe i'm gonna try use cylinder so if i'm gonna use cylinder example i'm gonna put it here right you, ca you guys could see you can make an ellipse there but if you want to try to make a perfect circle hold shift and then you're gonna get that and then you can go down and you can go up it all depends on you and what you like so if you're trying to go back to the normal cursor just press w and then it brings you to the select box cursor so once you have this maybe you want to boolean for boolean you're gonna get go to edit preference and also you make sure that you active bool tool with this you can try to cut things and slice things or intersect so you can click the cylinder and then click the cube and then control shift b and then it's it gonna pop up this box right pull tool option so the upper one is just if you click difference it's gonna straight cut and apply it so it's kind of like destructive mode but if you press the um the ones down here you can see that it's non-destructive so you can try to play with it this all depends on it and that's pull tool and primitive mode right but what about machine tools machine tools it's gonna help you a lot with your it's it gonna well for me it helps my my workflow like became much more fast and better so once you uh, check this you can try to active all of this though but the thing is um i'm not gonna go deep like every single thing here about machine tools you can go to documentations and you'll find out a bunch of information about these things maybe we can try to just just to see what's gonna happen so what i use for machine tools mostly until right now it's if you go to edit mode example here um maybe i'm uh, i move it here like and i don't like it so i could press now uh, i could click two parentheses and I could press alt a and then go to right and then from the left that thing from the left is gonna go to the right and then I can do that so it's back to normal but with this thing I can it seems like it's small to the left so I can do the same thing alt a it just depends on if you doesn't matter if you have to go to the right view pr proper left view proper top view doesn't matter and you can click this one and click this one and then alt a to the top that's and you guys could see that it's really complete back to normal cube and you can bevel that so there is one cleanup actually uh if you go to edit mode if you press one um if you press one it, which is actually gonna merge mer vertices so if you click this one and then this one and then you press one so the uh, the first vertices you click it's gonna go to the second one and also if you add a cube right um, here and then wait let's add a normal cube back here and then you try to bevel these edges if you're trying to bevel this edge even you you see which is clamp it's not gonna overlap the thing and you're gonna increase segment making something like this right 
even you use clam these vertices is gonna be double so you can actually do this with M and merge by distance and then you can adjust these things but with machine tools you can select all and tree and then you can fix these things you can I use these things helped me a lot r rather than uh, that just merge by distance because it can remove edges it can remove faces and this is the amount of uh, thing that you guys could you know the amount of uh, the distance merge distance and that will help you a lot if you know like what is it for in your workflow and that's for machine tools right so that's uh that's for the tab and then that's for the vertex which is line the align thing example here i'm gonna make this on the bottom one to be at the same level at the top one so alt a and go to the top make it like something like that so there's a bunch of things that you could do just try to play with it and go to that documentation so you'll find tons more information about this thing i'm gonna do everything here Let's add a normal cube and also machine tools provide shift s which is well you have shift s with vanilla blender but this one is much more simpler i guess um so if you shift right click somewhere you're gonna move your cursor right but if you want to make, make it back to normal shift s and drag it to the left to origin which is back to normal and if you move the cube there you can try to shift s and then make the cursor selected so cursor there so if you want to make the back to normal on the cube you can also shift s and origin and then shift s selected the cursor like that also you can alt g that just means um clean positions so it's all back to normal as long as you're not gonna apply the positions or rotations and stuff everything so that's for machine tools there's more of it just try to go to that documentation thingy so fast curve fast curve um i only use it uh for the circle array so it's it's really amazing the circle array some kind of radial array i mean it's just pretty quick though so example i'm gonna add the cylinder here right um, I'm gonna make it here, make one here. But the thing is, it needs to, it needs it. It's work with the cursor. So, example, I want this cylinder to have radial array around this face of this cube, right? And I could click this cylinder and N panel, type N, and it brings you this um, this panel, and then click the circle array see that you can already see and there's a pop-up box here small box item cam you can increase decrease up to so once you have this uh, you can try to play with with this move move this axis or even move the object but it's not gonna um, move like entirely I, d I don't know why I'm not sure how to fix that but accept and just apply it and then you can try to move it but still remember it depends on the cursor so example i'm going to use primitive mode here again i'm going to make a circle here right and then i want to have i'm, I'm going to put the cursor there so circle array again and see that so it's just around the cursor i guess that's it um the, i mean if we within fast cars actually much more options um here that you guys could get same thing with the bull tool right there up difference union slot into suck and circle array array mirror bevel object so yeah you, you guys could try to play with that so thank you guys for watching